Hey guys, how's it going? Long time, I know. Cheers to you. Um, I came in here, I'm actually working in my office. It's Sunday, October, like second or third, something like that. Um, no, it's the fourth. I know that because it's my brother-in-law's birthday yesterday. Um, so anyway, it is Sunday. It's a crazy like I don't want to say downer of a day, but it's very chilly in Chicago, so um, I'm working in my office on some stuff, and, and I was getting ready to listen to a training, which I'm loving, and I found myself thinking about uh, this email I had to send out and these videos I shot. This is for some of the uh, folks that are joining in with um, what I'm doing with Beachbody, and I needed to send them out a video that was explaining, you know, um, how and why you should consider being a coach, blah, 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 and all of this stuff. Uh, because people have been asking about it. And for me, one of the fastest ways, instead of doing one-on-one -on -one calls or whatever, sometimes if I need to communicate, I do videos. So I was thinking about that video and I realized like, ah, this is the one area that I've been really neglecting the past couple of months as I've refocused my energies on getting active and blogging again, getting, um, you know, kind of a plan with everything. Um, I told you guys I've been spending a lot of time. Actually, I do Periscope sessions every morning. Um, if you're not on Periscope, that's an app that lets you live broadcast. So when I shoot videos like this, I shoot them here in my kitchen. If I'm in a hotel, I shoot it in my hotel. Then I have to take my camcorder. I have to, you know, I bought this camcorder See, it's a Sony camcorder I bought in 2008, I think, so I've had it for a while. Um, but what I do is I then take this and uh, it doesn't wirelessly sync or anything with my computer. I have to sync it with my computer, um, upload the files to YouTube. Once the files are in YouTube, then I have to, you know, make sure I put all of my contact information, yada, 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 make sure that it's um, ready to go public and then make it live. Um, and be I think probably because I've gotten so busy and active in these other areas, and it's so much easier. It's so much easier with Periscope to hold your phone up or set it on a tripod, and that's all you have to do, and people see it. Where here, there's like 20 steps before my video goes live. So I do apologize to you because so many of you have written to me and said, you know, you can't be in all of these places at one time. I understand it. You're used to watching me here. So although I have said this to you guys in the past, um, I do not plan to like shut down my YouTube channel. I absolutely am progressing um, with my assistant. Um, in fact, she's doing more hours for me next month, or this month actually. Um, and all of this stuff is happening, but as is typical um, in my personal life, in my business life, in this kind of stuff, things always take longer than you anticipate. Always, 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 always. So um, as much as I would have loved, it's October 1st, you know, I wanted my blog to be redone by October 1st. I wanted to have, I had, I think I told you guys on one of my last videos that um, I had mapped out my entire content calendar, which I've never done in seven plus years of blogging. Um, I mapped out a content calendar for the entire month of October. Now, I haven't launched that yet because Angie and I have other things that we're working on first that took so much time. What I can tell you guys this, so my YouTube fam, is it is coming into place. Um, I have made so many changes in not only outsourcing things to Angie and, and my other assistant, um, but I've made changes that enable me to fit in more stuff and accomplish more things in my personal life, my professional life, my fitness life, just everything. So that, you know, it used to be that a, on a Sunday like today, I would get to Sunday and be so kind of drained. And I used to always feel like as much as I love, you know, I know, I mean, Fit Flint is like my baby and I love it, but I would always get to Sunday about this time, like middle of the afternoon and go, oh, I really didn't have a weekend. I didn't relax. And I just... I was always feeling like I was, you know, what's that chasing the tail or there's an expression out there that I'm not quite capturing and saying right. But it's just never feeling like I was getting ahead, doing all the things I wanted to do, doing the things I needed to do. And I will tell you this, you guys, I am doing more, making more progress, feeling more centered, in control, calm, cool, and collected about things than I've ever been before. So I really felt compelled to come in here 
shoot a video on Sunday. Make sure it goes live to let you know that I have heard from you. A lot of you are saying to go ahead and upload my Periscope sessions, that you're fine, you know, like taking some of those in, even though they tend to be 30 minutes or sometimes 40 minutes. Um, but you said go ahead. So I will upload those now um, with Angie. I do have about 30 of them, probably 40. Um, so they'll be uploading and we'll make sure we do them kind of dispersed because if I shoot, if I put them all out, you know, I, I just know from before, if I put a lot of videos out at once, that doesn't work well. So we'll title them, we'll put them out, that way you can watch the ones that you want. And then the folks that are coming onto my YouTube channel from Periscope will be excited because you guys were the ones that said, please put your Periscope sessions up there. If I missed it on Periscope, I'd like to see it on YouTube. So that's my little brief update. That was five minutes. Um, I wanted to, so, B, if you guys will just be a little bit more patient with me, probably starting this week, um, you know, ultimately what was happening is what I was sharing before. Um, I just found that with everything else I was addressing and adding into my schedule, um, the last thing I was getting back to was YouTube. You know, once I start touching my hair, it's a problem. <laughs> it's like a downhill thing. Um, one of the last things that I found I would add into every single day, even though I've changed things and I've improved my productivity, was YouTube. Just because of the, when you just consider, even for me, I don't do any fancy editing or anything like that yet. I'm, I'm outsourcing some of that, so I might have my videos actually have a nice intro and some contact information and things I've never done before, but I won't be doing that because if I try to do it, it, it would take me two hours. It would take me two hours to figure out how to put like one little thing at the bottom of my YouTube video that said, email me, kelly at kellyalexa.com if you have any questions. That would take me all day to figure out. Believe me, I'm smart up here. When I sit down to try to do certain things like that tactically, I'm just not, it, it just, yeah, it just does not happen. There's not enough coffee in the world that can make that happen. So if you, if you bear with me, um, I now know that it is manageable for me to be able to shoot my YouTube videos every week by topic. They're going to be shorter. This video, for example, is seven minutes at this moment. Um, most of my videos will probably be because they're going to be on topics as opposed to just a rambling journey like I've been in the past. Um, so they'll be on topics, they'll be shorter, they'll be organized, and I'll be able to shoot them probably, you know, a couple days a week and not take too long, but shoot them and then have my people that are going to edit and add some enhancements to them, um, uh, you know, process that. It'll be a much faster thing. It won't be as overwhelming as it's been for me in the recent past. So I did want to pop in, say hello, and let you guys know um, to look out for that. Um, in the meantime, like I mentioned before, although it's not floating across the screen right now, if you do have any emails for me, ideas, things you want me to cover, if you have questions about Periscope or anything else, things that you saw on my blog, if you have questions about whatever, email me kelly at kellyalexa.com. That's my email that I'd like all of you guys to use. Um, I also wanted to wrap up and give you, actually, you know what I think is I think I'm going to do that in a separate video. Let's let this video just be a quick Kelly Alexa update in case anybody wants to know about that. Um, and of course, if you want to find me on Periscope, you can find me and follow me there, Kelly Alexa, K-E-L-L-Y-O-L-E-X-A, as well as pretty much that's me every pretty much social platform. In fact, I need to change the handle on my YouTube because I think it still is Alexa17. I'm not quite sure. Um, I'm also curious to hear from all of you that watch my videos, how many of you, and I would love it if you would leave that in the comments, um, how many of you read blogs and or read my blog? How many of you are on Periscope, Periscoping or listening to others? I'm totally just curious, like, what social platforms you guys play on, what you like, what you maybe have questions about or whatever. Totally just want to hear from you. Would love to leave it in the, if you'd leave it in the comments and I'll shoot two more videos. My next two videos that I'm going to shoot uh, probably later on today, I'm going to update you uh, really fast on my first four and a half months of the bioidentical hormonal treatment. Um, what great results I'm having and what I foresee in the future. Um, and then the second video I'm going to shoot will be, you know, what are the specific dietary changes, workout changes um, that I have made and how has that affected my body? Um, because it's significant. I just posted a picture on Instagram today of, you know, I went to church and it was really awkward because the jeans I was wearing today were literally like, I went to sit down. I'm like, oh my gosh, 
I'm, I have like plumber's butt. Like I had to put, my jeans are so loose and I had to throw away, not throw away, I'm donating them, um, like eight pairs of other jeans and things because um, things are really changing in my body and that's, that's all for the good. So I'm excited to share those updates with you so you can tune into the next ones, but I will see you guys later. Thanks for bearing with me, my YouTube people. You're awesome and I always appreciate that. And again, if you have any questions, kelly at kellyalexa.com. I will see you in a little bit.